kiss for you. All right. So let's get started. So guys, as you can see, I have already created the project. So first of all, we will create the login and after that we will create the register screen. So here, let's first of all have the dependency for our support material design. So here we have support design and press enter and from there you can have this press OK. Then we need a recycler view. So we will implement uh, op add it and also we may be requiring the card view dependency later on. So we press OK and now the, pro uh, the project will be synchronized. Alright guys, so now it is successfully synchronized. So first of all, we need to set up the user permission. So here we will have the user permission for that. And here we can have the permission as internet. Alright. The next step is we need to, uh, okay. So here what we can do is First of all here we have this main activity and in this activity first of all we can uh, all right so here i have some drawables so here it is the logo so you can also use your own logo here so i will just copy that and here uh, these three are the drawables it is for the send button and it is for the delete button all right so you can also import it uh, let me show you how you can import that into your your project so here inside this drawable right click new image asset and from there you need to select uh, this and here from there you can select uh, send and here you can see this send okay so in that way you can have these two drivers and for that you you don't need to use that but i will use it in my project okay so it is basically just the background of the button so i just copy that and paste it inside my drawable folder press ok and now you can see i have these three things here Alright guys, so here we have the error. So uh, in your case, you don't need to do anything. Okay. And I will provide these uh, links if you want, but uh, you can, you don't need to do to you don't, uh, sorry guys, you don't need to do this. Alright guys, so uh, here we need to have these colors, but as I have already told you that you don't need to do this thing okay so here we have the color so let me create color resource sorry okay so we need to go to our values and inside this color and here we will have a couple of colors so first of all we will have the green 300 and it will be Hash eight one, and then we will have another color, and that will be blue, gray, nine hundred, and it will be and then we will have another color and that will be green 400 and then it will be hash 66 cb 6a all right so here you can see all the errors are gone and we have this layout for the button and 
after that we uh, okay so after that we now need to uh, create the layout so for that we can uh, first of all we need to remove the constant layout and here we will have the linear layout and let me remove that and then we will have the background we need to change it and the background will be color blue gray 900 and also first of all we need to set the styles to no action bar okay and after that we need to use some padding so here we can say padding sorry padding padding start and it will be 35 dp and the padding and will also be 35 dp all right and the orientation will be vertical and after that we will use a relative layout and it will be match parent and match parent and inside that we will and have another linear layout and that will be match parent and wrap content and then the orientation will be vertical and then the padding will be 15 dp and we will set center vertical to true and the par parent start to align parent start to true all right and after this inside this linear layout we will have an image view and that we can say image view and it will be of 100 dp and also the height will be 100 dp and we set the gravity to center and we set the source to drawable logo small round and we need to use the tint and we can say color green 400 all right then we need to have the view and here we have view and we have match parent and 30 dp the height after this view what we are going to have is uh, a text view and the text input edit text so here we will have the text view and it will be wrap content wrap content and the text will be email and the text appearance it will be style slash base dot text appearance dot app compact dot small okay and after this text uh, appearance what we are going to do have is the text color and that text color will be color slash blue gray 900 and the text style will be bold alright and instead of this 900 we will have 500 so now we need to create the color for the blue gray 500 and 
the color it will be hash o7 d8b all right And after that, we will use the text input edit text. So we can say text input edit text, and it will be match parent and wrap content, and it will have margin left, and it will be minus four dp. Then it will have margin right, and it will also have minus four dp then we will have the maximum length and it will sorry it will have the max length and it will be 50 and then it will have maximum lines it will be 1 and then we need to set the id and the id will be email id login and then we will use the single line and it will be true then we can say text color and we can change this color and it the color will be uh, at the red color slash blue gray okay so here we need to use 300 color so we need to create and again the blue gray 300 and it will be hash 90A4AE ok and after this uh, text input edit text what we are going to have is again the view and it will be match parent and 10dp then we will have the text view and it will be wrap content wrap content and the text will be password and the text appearance will also be the same so we can use the text appearance of the text view just copy that and paste it here and then we can have the text color and the text color will be slash color blue gray 500 all right then we again need to have the text input edit text and from here we can have the alright guys so I think the video is too long so I think I need to stop that so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye